next question is coming to us from Les, who says, why go off the grid? And is this something that'll pay off in five or 10 years? So there's a lot of reasons to think about going off the grid. We all know that it's no fun getting monthly bills and the price of hydro just keeps going up and up and up. So the good thing is if you can set yourself up to be at least partially off the grid, you can reduce your monthly costs, but more importantly, you're also improving your independence. So you all know what happens when the power goes out? Yeah, it goes out and you have no power and you can't run anything. But if you have a system with a battery backup, it means you can be independent and it won't bother you if the grid shuts down. But it's also good for our planet to be generating your own energy. So yes, if you tune in this season to Sarah Off The Grid Season 2, you'll see how you can have an off-grid solution even if you're living in a town or a city and not just on a rural property. You gotta watch it though to find out. Mm -hmm.